Hey, so Rahul Recky, I'm a vice president at Lazard, where I work in our financial advisory practice based out of New York. And I also direct Lazard Lab, which is our internal kind of think and do tank focused on changes in technology and economics and geopolitics are affecting uh, the capital markets and, uh, and, and corporate strategy. Uh, I've actually been at Lazard for about four years. And prior to that, I used to work in the Obama administration as a staff economist at the White House focused on healthcare policy and health economics. So tell me the, the issue that you're looking at in this, in this brief. So what my co-author Peter Orzag and I are looking at is ways to improve medical billing, um, both because of the tax it places on uh, the patient experience and because of the direct costs it imposes on the system. And in particular, we're focused on uh, what is called claims adjudication i.e. the process by which when a patient shows up and gets care at a medical facility, that uh, the claim is generated, document that patient's clinical encounter, bill the, bill the insurance company, and figure out how much ultimately the patient owes on the back end. That process is long, it's complicated, it's bureaucratic, and we think there are significant sources of savings embedded at each step of that process. So what made you look at, at claims adjudication? Through our work at Lazard, we're in constant contact with health insurance companies, um, healthcare providers, hospitals, and uh, you know physician offices, and we're also, as individuals uh, and and, and policy-focused uh, writers, researchers, actors, looking at ways to improve the healthcare system. And we see uh, the claims adjudication process as a, a natural area of improvement that we think merits additional spotlight, and in particular. We hear from our payer clients that this is a kind of a, almost a deadweight loss opportunity for reform. We likewise hear that from the providers uh, that we work with. And it seems like, well, if everyone sort of agrees on what the solution is, then maybe we can help provide some of the intellectual architecture and framing to, to actually you know, make progress happen. That's a good segue. So what are you recommending we do? So what we're, re we're recommending we do is shift to real-time claims adjudication wherein instead of the current, the current system where we have claims that are adjudicated uh, over days, weeks, months in some cases, and where you have essentially armies of staff on the provider side and on the health insurance side that review claims and attempt to hammer out what the final price should be, leaving the patient in the dark during that period for how much they actually owe, uh, we instead propose like every other consumer transaction and even certain transactions in healthcare, like our experience at the pharmacy, that we shift to a process that happens in real time, where claims are generated on the, on the basis of the electronic medical record while a patient is receiving care from a physician. The claims are sent to the insurance companies, processed in real time, and before the patient has left their medical encounter, they know how much they owe and it's fully transparent. And how do we get from where we are now to, to real-time claims adjudication? So what we really need is for policymakers, in particular Congress and Health and Human Services, to act as a con convening body to bring uh, the, the sort of fragmented healthcare delivery system and, and a fragmented healthcare insurance uh, sector together to establish standards and rules around how claims can be adjudicated in real time. We actually have a lot of the authority to do so under the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the Affordable Care Act set up standard setting bodies that were intended to provide this kind of administrative simplification. But some of the uh, impetus for that has, has lost steam. You know, the, the organization promulgated a few standards um, early on in its existence, but has, has sort of fallen by the wayside. We think there's an opportunity to re-energize the effort and to ultimately pair that with strong incentives for payers and for providers to adopt the new framework we're talking about. And what are the, the savings on offer? Uh, memory serves, they're, they're pretty striking. It's, it's remarkable. Um, claims administration is uh, one of the single largest sources of administrative expenses in the US. And one of the biggest reasons US healthcare uh, costs so much more than, uh, than it does in other countries. And for the particular type of intervention we're talking about, uh, we think we could save 30, $40 billion a year and if anything, that may be a conservative estimate given that billing and insurance related um, administrative costs comprise somewhere between 150 and 300 billion uh, of costs in the US every single year. 